In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dope search bar. This is going to be perfect for Reels or YouTube videos because having animations like that is always helpful to get more eyeballs to your content. Whenever there's something on the screen, it's easier to grab your attention. So I'm telling you, this is going to be extremely simple. So without further ado, let's get straight into Adobe After Effects. And by the way, if you want to have ready to use animations like that and skip the whole part of creating this, you can just get Motion Essence with 140 assets ready to use. It will save you a bunch of time. But yeah, this is just a side note. Let's get straight into creating that beautiful search bar so we are back in the software let me just show you the comp settings i'm gonna hit ok so first thing we want to do is head over to the round rectangle tool and we're just gonna create such a shape so it reminds of a search bar i'm gonna recenter then i'm gonna disable the stroke and what you want to do is bump up the roundness so it's fully rounded on the corners and this seems to be pretty much perfect we can call it bar or maybe search bar and then right off the bat i'm just gonna head over to the ellipse tool and I'm going to create a circle over here, just like so. So make sure that the size is fitting within the frame, within the bar. I'm going to call it circle. And then we kind of want to make it a bit different so it's not blending in. So I'm going to head over to the color and I'm going to change it to a darker gray. So let's hit OK. So this is already looking nice. First thing I'm going to do is head over to the layer styles and I'm going to add bevel and emboss to the circle. So in my opinion, it looks absolutely fantastic already. I'm just going to head over here. I'll probably decrease it to 30% so it's not that intense. It's literally your personal preference. And we're just going to start with creating a magnifying glass. So I'm going to go to the circle again, make sure nothing is selected. And we're just going to create something like that. Make sure to hold shift. Then we need to disable the fill and we're going to turn on the stroke. We can decrease the stroke width to say four, maybe even less like three and you can use any color you want for now i'm gonna stick with white let me just rename it and then with that layer selected i'm gonna make sure to grab the pen tool and i'm just gonna create a point over here now let's merge it with our circle and we're just gonna create a point over here so that way we got a pretty cool magnifying glass I'm going to select these two and with position over here, we're going to be able to recenter. It seems just a bit off, so I'm going to probably do it like that. Also, if you want to run the ending, you can head over here to the line cap and choose round. This seems good enough. And now what we could do is actually add bevel and emboss also to the search bar. So for this, I'm going to head to the circle. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to copy layer styles and paste them here. So that way we got that nice outline. All right, this is looking really nice. I'm just going to head over here to the layer styles. And we're gonna probably bump up the size just a bit all right this is pretty cool also you can soften it out with this and then we're gonna add a lifesaver to the search bar which is a cc light sweep let's hit enter and just make sure that the center which is over here is literally in the middle all right you can be very precise here i'm gonna leave it like that and then what i'm gonna do is change the shape to smooth i'm gonna decrease the edge thickness to two and what you want to do is decrease the sweep intensity to zero. All right, so we got already a very nice touch. Now, just to make sure the color is fully white, you can head over here and change it like that. Let's hit OK. As for the direction, I'm going to alt click the stopwatch over here. And here you want to type in time asterisk 60. I'm going to click away and that way it's just going to move around our frame. All right, but we need one more thing, which is basically duplicating that light sweep effect. So I'm going to hit Control D. And what you want to do is head over here to the effects. I'm going to go to CC Light Sweep 2 and we're just going to do a very important thing, which is going to direction. We're going to open it up and here I'm just going to type in plus 180. So that way it's going to be on the opposite side. Then what I'm going to do is type in the text, which is going to be editing. Doesn't really matter. All right, it looks all good to me. I'm just going to head over here. I'm going to select these two shapes and I'm going to probably bump up the stroke width to five. Yeah, a bit better. And I've noticed that I haven't really rounded the cap. So let's click on the shape one and I'm gonna click here. So as you can notice, here you got the difference. Also something that would be probably a good idea here is taking one of the light sweeps from our search bar and we're just gonna copy this and paste it to the circle. Now let's just make sure that the center is over here. It's also gonna go around like that. Then I would probably just go to the magnifying glass and I'm thinking about changing the color over here. So we might wanna go to the stroke color and we're just gonna pick something darker. It's nice when it's blending in. And if you wanna take it to the extremum, you can always go to the circle, copy the light sweep and paste it to the magnifying glass. So this is already a crazy combination, but Light Sweep is such a beautiful effect that it'd be bummer not to use it everywhere. 
I'm gonna probably just change the edge thickness to one. Yeah, that's already looking extremely nice. Now I'm gonna go to the search bar and here I think we can go with the darker color. So something like that is matching the vibe a bit more. Yo, this is looking so good. <laughs> and then let's take it to another extreme. I'm gonna add CC light sweep effect to our text. And here what you could do is just place it over here, the center, and I'm gonna change the light reception to cutout. Now I'm gonna change the edge thickness to zero and I'm gonna bump up the sweep intensity. And also we can change the shape to smooth and bump up the width. So this is looking so freaking nice. Bro, that's looking absolutely fire. So here we can pre-compose the whole thing. I'm gonna call it search bar. And here's how it would look with an actual reel in the background. This is so fire, bro. I already started to regret that I haven't put it in Motion Essence Pack. But here you got the sauce, guys. Also, you can always just add a movement to this. I'm gonna create a keyframe for position. Then let's do it like that. I'm gonna apply an intro graph, which is basically a peak on the left. And this is looking absolutely amazing if we combine it with transform. Then we're gonna use scale. Let's hit you. And I'm just gonna zoom in and apply the same graph. Check it out. This is such a fire thing already. But let me just show you some of the search bars that you got in Motion Essence. So I'm gonna quickly open it up. And here we got a basic Google search. Let me just drop it lower. I gotta hype you up a little bit, but imagine you drop it on the timeline and you got ready animation. You do absolutely nothing. This is such an amazing thing. Also, you got some expressions going on here. So check it out. And then we can use something else like say modern search. Also a pretty cool one with the button press. And guess what's here? We got a light sweep effect. <laughs> I obviously gotta show you search bar too because this is one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna drop it here. Let's drag it lower. And this takes a bit longer, but you can always trim it. Check it out. This is such a cool animation. And if we go into this, you can always change that text. Let's say we're just gonna type in search bar and look at the box. It's adjusting automatically. This is such a fire thing. And then you can always just add light sweep like so. And you can spice up these animations however you want. And yeah, pretty cool stuff there, just saying. So if you want to stop wasting hours and hours of your time and literally save months of your life, then head over to the description below, go to the first link, and there you will find motion essence and other cool things. Also, there's a pretty cool promotion right now, so you can take advantage of that. That being said, remember to create ready-to-use animations because this will save you a ton of time. And hopefully the tutorial was insightful. Make sure to check out the video on the screen. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.